Hi guys, welcome back to the guitar session. Today we will keep exploring the world of two-handed tapping via the A pentatonic minor scale that we started in the previous sessions. We talked about the 24 permutations of four fingers and uh, that's a great exercise. We have a lot of it and um, the next permutation we will explore is one, three, two, four. <laughs> So the perm 1324 is a good opportunity to talk about something which we should incorporate into our exercises and into our playing from this early stage on. Uh, I call it a vertical or an aspect because it's something that is belonging from now on to all the exercises and uh, we should pay attention to it. And that thing is the accents. And why it's so important, especially in uh, this technique in two-handed tapping, because in tapping, we don't really have that much of dynamics. Our string is quite limited uh, in the dynamic range. We can play soft, and I can increase the dynamics or lower them. But I think we could all agree that this is um, not a lot compared to picking or to finger style techniques. Uh, because there's nothing that, you know, gives the the string its power. So we should compensate for it in a way as much as possible. And we should really make sure that we pay attention to our uh, accents and that we place them in the correct beats or wherever we want them to be. But this uh, exercise, uh, we will focus on the ones, okay? So we will play it with an accent. <laughs> and the other way around. So the accents are achieved by doing some hammer-ons um, and uh, I don't really recommend about pull-offs because the difference is that the hammer-on also gets the transient of the string uh, more precisely. As in, like this is a hammer-on, so uh, if we compare it to a pull-off, this is a hammer-on, this is a pull-off. Also, pull-offs only work when we have a note on the same string on top of that. So, I always, even if we have the opportunity to do a pull-off, I always recommend the hammer-on. So I don't pull-off, I just do... So you should kind of hear the underlying melody in this movement. Thank you. 
is completely natural to lose the dynamics a little bit when we play fast lines or on higher tempos. But if we exercise this correctly from the beginning on slow tempos, this will be incorporated into our playing later on, even in higher tempos, uh, as much as possible. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll see you next time at the next guitar session. Bye-bye.